Hello everybody. So I'm never on time. Uh, so two minutes past two, but never mind. <laughs> At least I'm here. Um, so just coming on today, as you all know, just to have a little chat with you all. I'm just going to check that I can see everything on the laptop, hopefully. Because if you've got any comments, then I can see um, as they come through, hopefully, fingers crossed. So if you are joining, say hello, um, let me know where you are and uh, where you're watching from. And I will run through a few little things in a couple of minutes. Okay, it's nice to see some of you are watching. Um, because obviously when I used to do these lives, I used to do them in the evening. Um, and that was because with the setup I had, I needed to have another iPhone. So I stole my partner's phone. Um, but now I have it, I can do it in the day when I haven't got Morgan, I haven't got to worry about missing bedtime and things like that. So um, I'm here now, but I, it doesn't mean I won't do some evenings going forward for uh, those of you who obviously can't watch right now. Uh, so we'll just see how it goes. And yeah, I'm just going to run through a few things about, about all the exciting stuff that's been happening recently, which I'm sure you're all aware of. Um, so please say hello. I can see lots of you coming in uh, saying you're watching, which is good. And hopefully there's some of you who are watching, maybe who aren't members of the group, um, because this is a bit of a new thing as well. Um, unfortunately, I've realised that the way I was filming before, um, early this year, they changed it so I can't actually do the filming um, within the group. I can do it on Facebook, I can do it on the timeline, I can do it on my page, but they've now stopped allowing you to do it within a group. So I thought this one I'll do live within the group and going forward, you would uh, be watching the Facebook lives on my also Net page or live on YouTube. Uh, so we'll just see how it goes. But obviously they always get uploaded straight into the group as well. So we'll see how that goes. So oh, it's lovely. Lots of you are tuning in. So nice to see you all. Um, so let me just see. So I just want to be able to see any comments if they come through. So I'm going to, oh, lovely. See, I can't see them on the phone. So this is quite useful now to see all of this. So we've got um, Dawn in Ashburn. Let's see if I can move this over here. Dawn in Ashburn, Karen in Medway. Uh, Lindsay, hello. Diane, anyone not got sound? Um, hopefully that is just yourself. Can the rest of you hear me? Fingers crossed. And I'm never fully organised enough, so... Typical. Right, so hopefully you can all hear me because lots of you are saying hello, fingers crossed. But either way, I'm going to start now and just, this is going to be a nice little informal chat today anyway. So I'm not doing any filming from above um, or any demonstrations. It's just a chat to you because obviously life has been pretty busy for myself the last couple of months. And so those of you that maybe do know, some of you don't. I'm currently seven months pregnant, which is very exciting, um, but obviously means that things are going to change over the next year and I will be taking a step back from, um, from the physical teaching. So those of you online in the group, it doesn't matter because I'm still here and I'm going to keep doing uh, regular things online, which will be really nice to do. So I am planning to do lots of the videos and demonstrations still online which would be really nice to do so I have lots lots of plans just say oh, I'm going to go through I'll go through the questions in a sec um I have lots of plans still just to be able to be present and be here um whilst I'm on maternity leave because hopefully it just means I can just pop out to the studio and do a video once in a while whenever I can and then pop back in um so fingers crossed <laughs> we'll see um but my last uh pregnancy i had morgan in 2020 and of course he went into lockdown so the world went mad so hopefully this will be a little bit of a normal normal maternity leave we'll see fingers crossed for everything um so lots of you joining lovely oh that's gonna be christina saying she's loving the course it's very clear the questions about access to the videos um, yes, I'll go through some of those questions as well. For some reason, it's only showing me a couple of them, so I'm going to have to just highlight this, so bear with me for a sec while I get this all up and running. As I'm hoping I can see a little bit more rather than just the latest ones. Let's click on this. Bear with me. Only showing me a couple of... Right. Okay, so... 
but you might need to keep putting questions, the good questions that can be a pain. So I'm going to go into the online course in a little bit and I know login, I'm going to make a little note here, the login is something people are asking about. So I'll run through that and just how it all works anyway. Um, but what obviously I was going to talk about is a big hello to the, lots of you who are new as well, because I was at the Knitting and Stitching show in Ali Pali. And then I was also at the Creative Craft show in the NEC. So they were fantastic shows. I love being there. I was absolutely exhausted by the end, but it made it all worthwhile being able to talk to so many people and to just talk about the book. There were so many people that um, that came up. It was a very 50-50 divide. So lots of you came up saying, I've got the book and I've done this and this is amazing. Uh, lots of you came up and it was like a um, confession corner saying, I've had your book a while and I haven't done anything which is absolutely fine um, and then lots of new people as well coming up saying well this is just what I've needed because I always struggle with clothes that fit so it's a really interesting way of seeing how many people have actually you know got the book and still lots of new people coming through which is amazing so let me turn this off so it doesn't beep okay um so if you did come along to Ali Pali I hadn't launched the online course at that point because we had 20 testers who were just testing it all to just see what they thought and give some honest opinions, which were really, really um, gratefully received. And thankfully, all super positive as well, which is amazing. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that, because obviously then I went to the Creative Craft Show and then we launched it and it's live and it's, it's up and running. Um, so obviously, as you know, because I am pregnant and won't be able to do courses for the foreseeable future the courses that I have been doing have just been in demand which is absolutely amazing and I'm really grateful for that but I haven't been able to keep up with demand and obviously there's only one of myself and the online course has come at a really good time to be able to say look this will handhold you throughout the whole entire book and the only thing that I won't be doing with you is physically pinning you, which again is something we'll talk about. So the online course is £99 for lifetime access, which I think is a fantastic, fantastic price. And it's filmed really professionally because it's all been done with Search Press, who are fantastic. And we spent a long time planning and organising the whole of the filming. So it really is just fantastic <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that I'm really proud of it so I'm hoping that lots of you will just keep me posted on your progress and let me know you know how you find it now obviously we've got the Facebook group which is a fantastic resource for lots of you to be able to actually um, ask questions which I when I can I answer obviously but there are so many of you that have gone through the process yourself that you all start helping each other, which is absolutely invaluable. So the Facebook group is a fantastic resource if you have the book and you are new and you are thinking, how do I work through this? Maybe you're so new that you're a little bit worried about it. The Facebook group is the most positive, just friendly group on the Internet. And so many people comment, commented on that at the shows as well. So please feel free, if you are new to the book, to don't be afraid to look through comments. You can search through uh, the comments bar, maybe for a particular keyword that you're looking for, and maybe it's been posted previously. But also you can put your own post in the Facebook group, and then somebody hopefully will then join in and actually give you some advice and help, if not myself. But obviously there's a lot more of you than there are of me, so <laughs> it really is good when everyone kind of chips in. So, um, so someone said, oh, that's Amanda. So said the same, you couldn't make a start. The course brings it to life, which brings it to life, which is really good. And that's the whole, the whole plan of it is it just the whole book is me demonstrating from start to finish. Now, what I said to people in the shows was that when I wrote the book, obviously when you write a book, you never know how it's going to be taken. And I had everything crossed that it all worked and thank God it did. But obviously through teaching the last year and a half solidly with the book, there are things that I would like to add in that we have added in. So there's small adjustments that have gone into the book, but the book itself is near perfect. The online course is pretty damn perfect. So the online course is just all of the little bitty things that will help you just get through the just the alteration stages and the fitting stages and it's super, super clear and 
hopefully now that that is like the perfect way to actually go through the book as well. Now, as I've said to people as well, you've also got the free YouTube videos. So we filmed those quite quickly, actually, when the book came out. We tried to film those just to try and help. Um, I say we, myself and lovely Charlotte, who helped me out. And we filmed those as a way of making sure that those of you with a book didn't put the book away if you couldn't do it. And that actually helped you get up and running. So on the back of those being so popular and in demand, this is where the idea for the online course came from. So those of you who've got it, lots of you are interested but um, scared of starting and some of you have said, I'm going to mention the login now. So when you actually do pay for the course, it's a £99 access, uh, £99 for lifetime access. Now, because it's on a platform called Teachable, so it's it's used for lots of different courses so it's a very well known and very well respected website so they do ask you to they do send codes when you log in and that's just so that they're stopping um i think just courses being shared and emailed and downloaded which makes sense so unfortunately there isn't um a way around that but it just means that it means that when you buy and you pay with your hard-earned money that that course is yours and you know that other people then aren't also getting it it for free and being passed around so hopefully that clears that little one up but it should be something I think lots of things these days allow you you know ask for codes and things to log in just to keep things secure so hopefully that makes sense to some of you um who else on here Jan yeah, it was lovely to finally meet you Jan and Ali Pally so Jan in the Essex group unfortunately I can't see all of the comments I can only see what's highlighted which is a bit of a shame so just keep them coming and I'll just keep an eye out on here or has it frozen I'm not sure let me just go back to this part. There we go. Um, Sharon, old oh, Sharon also came. It's lovely. So it was really nice to meet you as well. Um, Sue Jarvis, you're fabulous. I should be proud. It's another winner. Thanks, Sue. My biggest fan. You're amazing. Um, so what I'm going to run through with the online course is when you actually get the online course, it's broken into like broken down into chapters. So when you actually log on, you get to log on log off as much as you possibly want to you can watch it on various different devices which is again why you have that code to log in so it means that only you are logging into your um your teaching program really so you get to know where you left off you can watch things again and again there's also a comment section so bear with me on that because that's something that i'm just finding my way around along with search press and seeing how that's going to grow as well so if you do have comments, you can pop them in there and it might be something that I do like a regular Facebook live to answer particular questions that come up maybe um, until we can find a, a way of making that work within within Teachable as well. So watch this space. But there is a forum so you can actually ask questions, see what other people have done and slowly over time, I'll hopefully start to do a um, like a frequently asked questions but obviously to physically show how something works, this is where these videos are really useful. So bear with us as it grows. Um, oh, I just missed someone. Can you give a shout out to the Swansea Stitch Squad? Of course I can, Leanne. Hi, Swansea Stitch Squad. Um, quite a few of the members were there last night. Um, so I had my last in-person uh, local courses and um, I'm hoping to come and join along and have some teas and coffees at lots of these groups. So that's another thing to mention. Um, how do you access the online course? I'm going to put comments in. I meant to do it before I started and totally forgot. So say baby brain. But I will be posting um, within the comments here as well so you can see. So when I come off, I'll do that and I'll do a separate post again for it. But it is, unless I can find it. If you go onto my website, which is allsownupwales.co.uk, which I can't write. And I will post it in the comments now as well for you. So when you go into that, you actually can go into uh, the heading under the book. And then it will give you a link where it says enroll here. And that code I am going to copy and put into comments now so you can all see that. OK. There we go. So, Wendy, great book and course, well done, that's lovely. And Paul, I just saw a comment from Paul Hutchinson, who I met last week as well, which is really nice. So, it's so nice to put so many faces to names as well within the group. 
So something else for you. So again, hopefully there are people watching who aren't members of the Facebook group as yet. And this video is accessible to them. And I think this is why Facebook changes things and allows different settings. So just always trying to keep up with what you can and can't do. So the beauty of the Facebook group, which really helps with the book as well, is there's so many of you that have formed small cluster groups all around the UK and the world. And I'm trying to keep on top of the directory, which is on my website. So those of you not on Facebook or it's an easier way to find the groups, um, please let me know if you're not listed on the website under groups. And I will try and get as many of you listed as possible on there. Now, what these groups are, they are those of you meeting up. So it's not for profit. And that's a really important thing to stress. You're not, you shouldn't go anywhere where you're expected to pay for these. These are very much you members of the group who are meeting up, meeting new friends, looking to help each other on your dressmaking journey and hiring usually community centres or the community rooms in like Tesco's and, and the big supermarkets. So some of you are just meeting up for tea and coffee, which is lovely. And then lots of you are meeting up then, like the Essex group with Jan has got over 100 members, which is absolutely crazy. So I know Jan was saying recently that those people that can't attend, then feel free to do the same thing and set up a group in a different part of Essex, for example. Um, the only There's no rules particularly, it's just be safe, be mindful who you meet and be mindful where you're meeting them. Um, but these groups have turned into these amazing um, meetups. So in the group, you can look under events and you'll be able to see who has, has met up recently. So there might be someone in your area. You can also look in the chats and see where people are in all around the country again in the world. But the chats, I think, have come to a maximum. So I do, again, this is something I'll be tackling and putting a post out about. But probably the events is a really good one to look through to see if there's someone in your area. And if not, why not post in the group to say, is anybody living in this area who'd be interested in meeting up? And I would recommend go and have a cup of tea or coffee with someone in a public place. And then if there's maybe three or four of you, you could then start to look at finding somewhere where you can actually meet up with your, with your book, your fabric, your sewing machine and just help each other with fittings. So on that note as well, with the, oh, there we go, Wendy, she said the dressmaking dollies in York are meeting tomorrow in St. Nicholas Church in Wigginton. So that's a lovely one if you're in that way. And there are so many groups. It's fantastic. So one of the questions that a lot of people have asked as well is how do you fit yourself, which is a really tricky one. And obviously it isn't something that I can fix personally. If you've got someone to help fit the twirl to you. It does make it a lot easier, obviously. Um, not saying that they've got the knowledge, it's, you're still learning together while you do it, but it is easier for someone else to take all that fullness away um, and to help. So if there isn't a group nearby, maybe you could look at a local sewing group you could attend and ask the teacher, could you work on that as a one-off project for them to physically fit you on the day? Um, the other option, you could potentially um, ask a seamstress to do it. That's another option. But otherwise, it is standing in front of the mirror and it's taking that fullness out of your shoulders, under your arms. You can align your bust. A lot of that can be done in the mirror. And what you need to do is just, if you're going to take some fullness out of your shoulders, you then need to almost try and see how much you're taking out. Take the twirl off and just do a row of tacking stitch. So you can just take a bit at a time until it fits you right. So admittedly, it is harder when you're by yourself, but the lovely thing is the group has given you lots of options to find people to meet and to help you do this. So hopefully, please don't fail if you're by yourself. There are ways around it. Um, the other thing I was going to say is the course itself as well can also be gifted. So as we're coming up to Christmas time, you can actually send the link to somebody and they can actually gift it to you and you will get the email logins and setups. So that's quite a nice way of, of doing it if you think you want something special and you want someone else to get you something that you'll really use. So that is an option. And again, I will post some videos in the group because I haven't been able to do the interactive filming that I normally do today because Facebook have changed the rules. So this is purely in the group today. 
Um, the other thing to mention to you, for those of you who maybe didn't hear about it, is when you sign up to the course as well, you actually get through Search Press three months free subscription with either Debbie Shaw's club or the fabulous Tilly Rose. So her club is slow stitching and oh, Tilly's fabulous. I've met Tilly lots of times and she is such a wonderful, calming lady. So everything that she does is all about slow stitching and embroidery and just little works of art, which are beautiful. So you've got Tilly Rose's, I think, Stitching Cafe. You can sign up to for three months or I'm sure you all know Debbie Shaw anyway. She's obviously well renowned and um, you can actually have a three months membership to her subscription club. So it's quite a nice incentive as well, a little bit extra for you. That I think then is emailed once you log in. And again, these things I'm going to check over and hopefully they will also um, say that will help, you'll get the subscription, you'll get the three months. And so you get those as well as the course, which is quite fun. Um, so Lynn, Lynn Cedar, my husband has been very helpful pinning. He's all fingers and thumbs we're getting there. Well done, Lynn's husband. That's really good because it is really, really difficult. Um, Polly Ann, what happens if you're a member of Debbie and Tilly already? Oh, well, you're just too good a search press fan. <laughs> I think, um, unfortunately, I don't think there are any other subscriptions um, actually with search press. And um, so unfortunately, you've got two of the best ones anyway. And Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> um, so a little bit of background with this as well. When I had the idea for this, it was suggested that maybe I could do a subscription club as well. But I knew I'd struggle to keep on top of new content every month. Because as some of you know who were here a year or so ago, I was doing regular Facebook um, uh, videos to help. But of course, with a little one who's uh, coming up to five and there'll be a new one coming now as well, all being well in January... I know I can't keep up with that and I don't think it's fair for people to be paying and for me not to be able to keep up. So this is why I suggested the online course. So it's not to say it won't happen in the future, um, but this is this was my angle, which is quite exciting. And hopefully this is the start of something quite exciting with Search Press as well, because they have an amazing, amazing array of authors. And I've been lucky enough to meet quite a lot of them at different shows. And if this means that there are more courses coming your way through Search Press, then, then hopefully this is it starts something really exciting for everyone involved anyway. Okay, so if it's the same lady, I follow Debbie Shaw on YouTube. She's fab. Yeah, I need to find Tilly, Tilly Rose. So it is, Tilly Rose is absolutely lovely. So keep, keep your comments coming because they're not, oh, hang on, I might be able to see them all here. Oh, I know, again, it's only showing me, unfortunately. It might be something I have to look back afterwards and look at all of the comments because I can only see the four there. So, Christine Culverhouse, thank you. I've managed to get onto the course. It was lovely to meet you. And again, Christine, it was another person that I, um, again, know the names. So it's nice to meet you in person. Um, who else? Polly, I've been a member of Debbie since the word go and Anne Hill and Tilly are fab. Totally agree. I know Tilly's is quite a new one as well, and she's, I say, she's just lovely. She's such, a, if you ever get to go and meet Tilly as well, she's just wonderful. I love Tilly. Um, so, any questions about the course itself, send it over now as well, and I'll keep an eye on the messages coming in. The course is broken into seven hours worth, so it's quite a lot. Um, and even though you think with a book you can spend a huge amount of time working through the book, seven hours is something that you can stop, pause, rewind and go back. So it's broken down into like an introduction. Then you've got the sewing know-how. So it's all about sewing know-how and telling you all about, actually I'm going to pull it up so I can read through it with you. So you've got how many videos in that one? So sewing know-how has, sewing know-how. Lesson two is all about sizing. Lesson three is about tracing off your blocks. And then look, lesson four is cutting out your sample. So sewing know-how is all the tools and equipment you're going to need to actually get up and running, um, which is in the book. But again, I explain a little bit more about them and get to say what I use and why I use them. Sizing. So it's actually me measuring um, a model. Lovely Charlotte got roped in again. So I actually talk you through where to measure, how to measure 
and why those measurements are important. Then the lesson three, tracing off your blocks. So I demonstrate physically how to trace off your blocks, what all of the, the pattern markings mean, why they're important to make sure they're there and they're labelled. And you get to see me do all of that. So you can then copy and do exactly the same thing. Then lesson four is cutting out your sample. So once you've gone through all the sizing, and I think what importantly in the sizing lesson as well, because we filmed it so long ago, is I talk you through different options if you are between sizes and if you are struggling to work out what size you are. There's three different examples to show you. I talk you through getting your bust point in the right place, blending your side seams, how to get as the pattern as right as possible for you before you cut out into calico. Now, one uh, person, actually two people have asked this as well, and this may be a video that will come later on. If you are between the sizes on the paper patterns, for example, there is a naught to uh, one to nine, and then there is 10 to 19. So if you are between the two, I might just do a little video at some point. You can actually just place the whole nest of patterns on top of each other, and they continue to grow in the same way. So if you are having to trace off size 9, but you are also size 10 and 11, just line up your centre front line and the waistline and it will allow you to just keep seeing the other sizes. So bear with me, I'll do a video on it, but you can just um, yeah, match up your centre front on the size 9 and then place the size 10 underneath again on the centre front and you'll see where the next graded sizes are. Okay, watch this space. Oh, some other comments through. Loving the online course. It's given me a refresher after being lucky enough to do the course. Our oh, lovely Leslie. I recommend it for anyone a bit unsure. Thank you, Leslie. Uh, Paul, hi, Helen. Hope you're good. I'm having the light bulb moment. I love that. Um, I love a light bulb moment. Really good. Um, having watched the online course, measuring, creating the pattern blocks. Question, is there any reason why I can't use the same method on myself to create my shirt project? Um, Absolutely not. So, designer goddess. Thank you, Paul. Um, so, no, 100%. If you are doing menswear, the same... I know we talked about this in the NEC. I can't remember if it's the NEC or Ali Pali. It's all a blur. Um, but the the techniques you learn are all the same, whether you're doing menswear or womenswear. But obviously, you don't have a man's block. So, you need to... Hopefully, Paul, we manage to help you find a block. And then all the same, same kind of alterations. It's all about making something fit you and get... All the notions in the right place so fingers crossed Paul you can just take everything that you learn and take that forward and actually um, do the same processes to get a man's wear block to fit you fingers crossed can you adjust your twirl on a mannequin good question I'm going to write that down I'm going to cover the twirl in a sec as well um going to have to go Sharon nice to see you um Linda are there any tips in the course of converting your bodice block to various styles so not as yet in the course the course is is the book exactly as it is so it's an exact replica of the book taking it forward what I do plan to do is more videos which are called the beyond your blocks so you might have seen last week just check that for it disappears yes I'm going to do that good question yes so you might have seen I did and I've lost it already I did have it here so I launched the miniature blocks which were these uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, obviously, I've updated these since. So what I will be doing is a lot more videos of how to take your blocks further, how to adapt them. And using these miniature blocks, this is what I'll demonstrate on. And then you will also be able to do the same at home. So you can watch the YouTube videos and you can actually then have a go to create something. So I've got quite a few things ready to, to do, which includes... Um, I did a pinafore dress. Those of you that saw the dresses I wore at the events, I'll show you how I've pattern cut those, how to do simple tops. And the plan would be as well is, is start to use different fabrics and to show you how to really take those blocks further. So this is why this PDF kit, which was 9 99 is really, really useful. So I'll do some links afterwards for you. So that isn't in the course, but I do show you three different ways in a little bit more detail on how to do the separates. So how to do a more fitted top, your loose fitting top, and just how your darts um, interact with you and your body when you're doing that. So again, that's what you get. You get a little bit extra with it and a little bit more detail 
um, explanations, which hopefully will help you take the separate section further as well. Fingers crossed. Um, I was going to talk about before we kind of well see if there's any more questions keep them coming in anyway um mannequins so those of you that met me in the show will know that my reply to do i need a mannequin is uh there's two options so a mannequin is really useful for you to have it's moving notion we just check the moving notches uh i'm going to come back to that one ruth okay so notches before i see it you know the armholes um and I'm just going to write that down. So Ruth, I'm going to come back to your question in a sec. Um, so mannequins, if you have a spare, I think it's gone up now, £1,500, then you could have your body scanned. So as I think some of you might have known last year, I had my body scanned with mimikins. And it's an amazing process. But you have to know that it's a big investment and your body is as you kind of expect it to be for a little while because as we know and the more I've done courses you realize especially us women have so many times when your body changes and your body changes for so many reasons like obviously my body is just going to be totally different to what it was when I had the body scan um it could be so many other reasons it could be health issues it could just be the whole uh, menopause perimenopause postmenopause all this that comes with it. So to have your body scanned is amazing and it is a fantastic, fantastic piece um, of equipment to use, but obviously isn't for everyone. And obviously it's quite an expensive option. So your next option, which may be a video one day, is, and I always joke to say, get some duct tape and a bottle of wine. <laughs> so what you actually do is you, um, for yourself, you need someone with you, hence the wine and two glasses. And you put a, put a good bra on that's really important you put a vest top on and then you put a bin bag over or any kind of recycling bag then what you do you put the duct tape down you put your torso first then you wrap around and you make a mold of your body with the duct tape because it's quite thick you then cut it off your shoulder and you cut it up the side seam and then if you have a cheaper mannequin as we know they also don't replicate our body whatsoever so you can then put that on top and then you can pad that out. And I'd recommend to sacrifice a good bra to that as well and put the bra underneath, pad it out. And that will be nearer to your body than trying to adjust one of these adjustable ones, which as we know are hard. They don't represent your body, however much you can let them in and out. Um, so that is a really good, good option. There are videos online, be careful what you Google, but they are there on there and you could, you could have a little go doing that yourself. Okay, so... Ruth's question is um, how to cover moving notches. So in the book itself, a little thing on notches, the notches in the book itself, if you were to, to trace off the whole of that block in one size, the sleeve would match up to the notches on the armhole. But because the way I designed the book, it means you don't have to worry about trying to adapt a sleeve pattern which and an armhole, which are two very different shapes. So instead, what you do through the book is you actually leave the sleeve off. You make sure the whole of the twelve fits you and your body. So you've got bodices and you've got skirts. And then you create that, that body form for you. Once you've adjusted your armhole, again, there's more in-depth information about the armhole on the online course. And once you've adjusted that armhole, then you measure the armhole and then you find the sleeve size nearest to that measurement with wearing ease on. So you'll find that those notches won't match up, okay, which is fine. But what is important is you keep a centre head notch on your sleeve pattern because that matches your shoulder. You then have your two notches signify the back of the sleeve and the single notch signifies the front. So as long as you put those on your sleeve pattern, you know which way round they are, your centre head notch matches, your underarm seam matches, and then you work out the gathering. And if you need to shift that along the centre head notch a little bit, that's absolutely fine to do. So again, there's, there's videos that I can do to help this coming through as well. So Ruth, I hope that helps. So if you've included a forward shoulder adjustment to change the armhole size in, it's fine. As long as the sleeve is two centimetres bigger than the armhole measurement, then you can ease that natural two centimetres in for a comfortable fit. 
or you add more into your sleeve, which gives you lots of fullness and uh, you make a feature of it. But don't worry about your notches physically matching. They're there as a jigsaw puzzle to know which way around things go. Um, one of, so Jan, one of our member, members of the duct tape wrap last month, others are having a go this month. Oh, we need some photos, Jan. Definitely need to send us some photos of those. It's such a good way of doing it. And um, I keep meaning to do a video, but there's so many videos <laughs> I want to do. But it's just a brilliant way. Um, what else? Any other questions coming through? Again, I'm really sorry. I can't read more of them on here because I can see there's lots of them, but I can only see the top four. Um, really interested about the sleeve. That's useful. Um, file after having your own blocks done. Can you use these against commercial patterns? Yes. Now, this again is one of the videos on my to-do list where I'll be showing you once your blocks fit you and your body, how best to use those to help you get the right size in your commercial patterns and also how to adapt those commercial patterns to fit you better. So these are videos that are coming. So now the Ali Pali is done and the NEC is done. I'm going to try and do a little bit of a schedule of when I can do these videos. So I'm away for next week, have a little holiday, which is really nice down West Wales. And I'm going to just hopefully have a bit of brain space to just plan a few things out. And so I will set these videos as events in the group. And they'll be the ones where I demonstrate from above and different camera angles. So that'd be good. Um, Mala, I don't know if I've said that right. Been going through the cancer treatment, chemo, I'll oh, bless you. I've lost a lot of weight. So what I've done before is too big, hence the online course. Oh, so I hope your recovery is going well as well. It's always a tricky one. But it's a really important thing actually on weight loss as well. So something to, to also kind of hit upon is we all lose weight and we all put weight on we all fluctuate don't stop that don't stop you from starting um because you want to lose weight because we all do it and it's it's terrible but what you'll find is is when you've measured yourself and your whole body is measured you, where you won't change is like your bones okay your bones won't change where we do tend to change and fluctuate with weight it can all be adjusted in your side seams and obviously your bust, your waist and your hips are what differ. The rest of your body will stay similar. So the length of your torso, the width of your shoulders, you know, like the shape of your body, unless you're drastically losing weight quickly. Um, and obviously that may have happened there as well. So hopefully, you know, you can kind of start again and, and, and have a, you know, a new love for your body and, and have a lovely way of, of kind of starting the adventure again. But if you are worried because you think you might lose weight, Please don't put it off because it's just a case of letting out or taking in on your side seams. And that will do most of your size adjustments if you're between a couple of sizes. OK. Um, one last bit, Sarah, will you? So we do a YouTube video showing how to do parts of the book. Um, not so much because because the online course is filmed just so perfectly that I there's no point me replicating all of that. Um, so obviously the free YouTube videos on YouTube are the start getting you up to the trial stage. I will obviously demonstrate some of those when when I do the Beyond Your Blocks um, videos. So obviously you'll see me demonstrate certain things on there as well. Um, but I won't be replicating what's on the course because it, it's so well done within the online course. So you can see the whole process there and what the YouTube videos will be is how to take your blocks further. So when you've mastered everything with a course, which is still loads you can do, um, the videos I'll do on YouTube will be showing you different styles and how to replicate those. So maybe like, you know, dresses that you see around that you like or tops and skirts, and I'll show you how to actually use your blocks to create that. That's it. Um, so I've had the email, can't find downloadable resources. So Sue, I think there was an email sent out because I had one saying here are the links to the subscriptions, but I am going to check that because obviously I don't know if that happens every time you sign in. So bear with us. You will get your three months of subscription for either Debbie Shaw or Tilly Rose. Um, just keep in touch if you haven't had it. You can either contact myself and I'll forward it to Search Press um, or um, you can comment within the, the actual Teachable platform. We'll get back to you. Oh, Natalie, I can see a comment on the screen, which is lovely. Um, I've got the course and it's so well filmed and documented. I'm loving it. Yay, I'm so glad. I'm so, so glad. 
I really hope that you all can see how much time and effort's gone into it and hopefully love so that you can actually see that this is manageable even for the total beginner, fingers crossed. Right, so we're coming up to 45 minutes. You've probably had enough of me warbling on all this time. So if you've got any more questions, fire them over now quickly. I'll keep an eye out. But I will post links after this. I'll post links to everything that's, that's available with the online course. And I hope that it will be a way of me being able to step back, knowing that the book is still going strong and people are still making clothes that fit. Um, there was one lady in particular in the NEC who came up with her, her partner. And she had tears in her eyes because she said, well, I bet this won't, this won't allow me to fit clothes. I've, I've given up. And she was just busty. She just had a bigger bust. And I just... I wanted to give her a big hug because this is what the book is all about. It's all about making clothes that fit you and your unique shape, whatever size you are. It's not about trying to lose weight to fit clothes and it's not about feeling horrible about yourself. But you wouldn't believe the amount of women that come up to me at the shows and say, the problem with my body is. But as I say to everybody, when you line up, every woman that you know it just even in the NEC, every single person is a different size and shape. So I don't know how we can do one size fits all. And this young girl, I'm really hoping now she took the book away with her. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what she does. And if there was one person that that needed to do it, it was that lady. Because going clothes shopping or buying patterns and making them up, spending more time and money and love to make up things and they don't fit is really, really gut-wrenching. So if you are one of those people, I'm in an R in still, please give it a go and please just make something that fits you and just enjoy the fact that you can make something that fits you and feel really good about it and feel really empowered. So yes, just do it. Um, I've just seen Amanda's last comment there. I need a link to, where's it gone? He's like three free months. Ask for subscription for a year when I try. That's fine. I'll I'll get back to search press. So there's lots of little bits which are still kind of working through. So bear with me. Um, Lindsay, I've worn my dress and had lots of compliments. Yay! And Christine, I won't be at Harrogate unfortunately because um, I'm seven months pregnant. So I am absolutely exhausted from the last two shows I've done. Um, and Harrogate, I realise, is six hours away which is just such a long way. And obviously then Glasgow is eight plus hours and it's it's just impossible right now with a young family. So I'm really sorry, but the ones that um, I know I can keep doing the NEC because that's not too far away. It's easier to do and I'll definitely see if I can come back and do that at the end of next year. So watch this space. Um, can I put the download into iBooks on the iPad? No, I don't think, I think you've got to log back in, Marie, because it worries, I think, if you download it, it can be shared. So, and that's what Teachable is all about, is trying to keep it a platform. So if you've paid for it, it's exclusive to you. Um, will you be doing a session on how to transfer blocks to commercial patterns? Yes, I will be doing that. So just, um, just said, Mags, there'll be some videos coming. I'm looking to schedule some so I can actually plan ahead. And if for some reason they change, I can obviously change the event, but I would like to get them in the diary so I can keep you inspired. Fingers crossed. Um, so I think that's about it. Yeah, sorry I won't be attending the other shows, but uh, it's taken me a week to recover from the NEC. <laughs> um, I slept all of Monday, pretty much all of Monday and Monday night. And I'm trying to catch up on admin. Um, I'd love to attend all of these shows. I really would. It's so nice to meet everyone and be there. Um, but it's such a massive expense and it's a massive um, job just to hire vans, load vans. Obviously I can't carry stuff while pregnant, so my other half's had to come and set up and pack up shows and it's, yeah, it's really difficult. So um, unfortunately no other shows uh, at the end of this year, but I have asked if maybe I might be able to do the fashion show in March in the NEC. So if any of you are wanted to be budding models, if they let me do it, I'm just gonna go up and do the fashion show, not have a stand, uh, but we did it last year and it was so popular and it was so empowering. So fingers crossed, if I get to do that again, uh, I will let you all know because I'll be requesting for models. Okay, Leanne, last question. Can we access uh, more than one device? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So if you go to the caravan, forget your tablet, yes, you can. So this is where the code works, I think. So um, this is what the lovely testers uh, fed back. So you can actually log on 
whichever um, device you're on and then it will send you a code so you can actually still log back in where you left off which is the important thing so it's like a, an exclusive course to you which is quite good so yes Leanne you can go to your caravan and you can you can read away and last little one all my sewing group want to fly over to Spain to meet you oh Wendy I'd love that well actually my last little point what I, I genuinely would love to do um it's going to be a watch this space. It won't be until at least mid next year. But I would love to do a little tour of all the groups that have popped up all around the UK uh, and Spain and any other groups. That, I know there's lovely people chatting in New Zealand and there was a lovely lady in Barbados who was asking if there was a group and there were lots of budding volunteers to go and start a group up in, in the Caribbean. So um, maybe that might happen next year because I'll have a bit more time and maybe I can just... I don't know just go on the road for a week and just go and go and visit you all and 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 say hello and there's a few other ideas in my head as well which we'll see so I will keep you all posted I will still be here online because this is the beauty of the studio I don't know if any of you follow the studio saga but the studio is in my garden so I get to just walk back in the house and I'm all good um so I will still be present even with a little one because I can just pop down the garden for an hour do a lovely video for you all, inspire you all, encourage you all, and then pop back. That's the plan. So watch this space. Um, Sue, not sure about modelling again. Oh, I'm sure you could, Sue. A hundred percent. You were brilliant. You're a natural. I've got time to work on you. Anyway, I hope that's been useful. Um, I will share uh, links for the online course, but those of you who are um, wondering about it, we will be posting some reviews, some snippets, um, some it's just lots of little things to get this out between now and Christmas. So if you are enjoying the course, please feel free to share with somebody else. Um, remember, you can gift it. And yes, Barbara, I am still planning a trouser book. So I'm going to pop a little one out in January. And then the trouser book is the next thing on my brain. Hence, probably a bit more time off than I necessarily would have done because I'm really sure that you all want a trouser book ASAP and they, they don't take they're not very quick to write unfortunately the whole process from start to finish is usually two years two and a half and the book the, the dress making easy guy took four years there was a baby and a pandemic in that as well so I will be doing it so watch this space okay so there we are Sue meet you there Wendy fabulous so we're all going to do are we going to do a meet up in in Spain or are you coming over either way It'd be lovely to see you again, Wendy. <laughs> right, I'm going to love you all and leave you there. And I hope any more questions, keep them going and keep them going under the post. And if I can answer them, I will. Um, I'm not very good at doing uh, answering everything straight away because there's so much going on. But I will um, try my best to answer what I can. Our well, last little comment, Karen, highly recommend the course. It complements the book brilliantly. That's fantastic. Um, if any of you are happy for me to use your... Um, recommendations to promote the course as well it would be really lovely so yeah um carolyn just quickly makes you repeat yourself can i ask was it gone can you watch it back yes you can watch the course multiple times you've got lifetime access and we're not going anywhere so you have lifetime access to pause stop rewind play because when you think the book last the book has so much content in there so many options for you to do so yeah you can have so much fun with it um marjo i don't know if i've said that right marjo you're doing amazing have a lovely week away so all your videos wonderful book and now the course i'm sure we'll all manage for a while whilst you think of yourself oh that's lovely oh it's lovely most of us in the group are women and mothers and know it's a hectic time now and in the next few months look after yourself thank you ever so much i will be putting my feet up um and i will be enjoying next week i'm quite gutted i can't go in a hot tub though Damn, but I think I'll dip my toes in anyway. So have a lovely time, everybody, um, over the weekend. There'll be lots more kind of keeping you posted on things, but any questions, hopefully they're answered in this video and there'll be lots more links and um, things to cover. Three month subscription, we'll make sure that you all get those. So don't worry if you haven't had it yet, it will be done. Search Press are fantastic. I love working with them. So yeah, they're brilliant. And also last little thing, some people I know every now and again realise that they're missing a pattern sheet. So if you've only got two sheets in the back of your book, there should be three. Search press, contact them. There was a dodgy batch where they missed one pattern sheet out. So if you're one of those people, check the back of your books 
and contact Search Press and they will send you a duplicate for the one you're missing. Okay, so I'm off. I will have a lovely week away. I'm looking forward to it and I shall be in touch very soon. And we're almost at 16,000 members, so I'll do something special for that as well. So many things I haven't had time to do, so it's all coming. So watch your space, um, sign up to the course, any questions on there and just let me know how you get on. I genuinely want to know how you all do. So, oh, thank you, Linda. Lovely comment to end it on as well. Right, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to go and have a late lunch. Lovely. Right, take care, everyone. I hope that's helped you anyway and answered a few questions. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.